Hi everybody, this is Precalculus, um, and this is the Inequalities Chapter Part 1. So an equation is a statement that two mathematical expressions have exact equal values, so like um, x equals 2, or uh, x plus 3 equals 5, something like that. That's an equation when we have an equal sign in there. Right? An inequality is a statement that one mathematical expression has a greater value than another. So that would be like x is greater than 3 or x is less than 2, something like that. We often want to know what values of x will cause a function to have a value less than 10 or greater than 0. This chapter will provide the tools for answering such questions. So if we had, let's say, And I think we've done something similar to this. Say we had the function f of x equals x plus 3. And we want to find f of x that is greater than 4, right? The lowest number we could have possibly have would be 1, right? So it would be 1, 2, infinity that way. 1 plus 3 equals 4 would be the lowest one. one 2 plus 3 would be 5. 3 plus 3 would be 6, right? So that would go forever that way. But the lowest one would be 1, right? So that's what we're going to figure out in this chapter is how to use inequalities for functions. All right. Um, all of this stuff right here, um, I want you guys to read over that, but I'm just going to go straight to the examples. So, when when we say one thing is greater than the other, right, so the solution to the inequality f of x is greater than a is a set of all the x-coordinates of the points on the graph which are above the horizontal line y equals a, right? So, let's say that we have f of x is, f of x is greater than 2. We're going to find 2 on our y-line, right, because this 2 represents our y-line. And we're trying to figure out all the x's that are going to be here when y is 2 or greater than 2. So we find 2 on our y line is right there. And all of the points that are going to be greater than 2 are going to be whatever's on this line, which is above 2. Sometimes that will be single points, but most times that's going to be intervals. So if we look at this, we have the interval between two points. We have a couple of intervals. So we have the interval that goes from here to here, which would be our x. So we're only measuring our x. <clears throat> so it goes from negative 3 uh, to 1. Okay, So this is negative 3 on our x, right? and this is positive 1. So our first interval would be negative 3, and our second interval is 1. Then this one goes from here, and then it keeps going, and then it goes on into infinity. So our first spot where it starts to be above greater than 2 on the y will be 5. So we're going to have a union of two sets. And then it keeps going into infinity. So we'd have infinity there. Make sure I did that right. Negative 3, 1, 5, 2, infinity. Yep. Okay. This next one. Says g of x is greater than or equal to 0. So that's going to be all the points on here that are above 0. So I'm going to draw a line on 0. And everything that's above 0. Is included. So then here. And this point right here. Everything that is below 0, greater than or equal to 0, would not be included. So that point right there would not be included because it is less than 0. So we can erase that. We're not going to include that. We're only going to include the stuff that is above 0 on the y. So then we need the x points that correspond with that. So this right here would be 2. Now it says greater than or equal to 0. Well, this 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to use a bracket for that one, 
right, because it's greater than or equal to, and it's hitting the line. This is saying that it's below, let me see. If x is greater than or equal to zero, yes. So this is gonna be two, and then it's gonna keep going until it gets to four. And that's in a union with four to infinity. Oops, I wrote that wrong. Four to infinity. All right, now what if we were to say that this was the opposite of that and we need all the points that are, let's say that we want g of x that is less than or equal to zero. Right, so that's still gonna be zero is this line but everything below that would be this going on for infinity that way and this point right here. So this one starts at two. No, it starts at negative infinity. Let's see. Because we want to start way over here, right? So negative infinity this way, right? And then it stops at two. And then you put your union symbol, and then we have the point four. Yep. All right, um, warning. The solution to these inequalities are always the x value of the points lying above or below the y line that you're looking for. So it's always the x value. And the y line is going to be what's in your equality, inequality. The y coordinate of these points have nothing to do with the solution. Graphically, the solutions are intervals from wi intervals which go from left to right, not up and down. So we're only looking for the part that goes from left to right, right? So if that's our solution, we're only looking from here to there and from here to there, right? On this one, we'll be going from here that way, okay? On this one, everything that's below three, so here's our three line. Everything below that would be from there to there, right? Those all fall in between that. And then this side goes from there to there, which would be wherever this is to right there. Right, so that would be our interval. So that would be from one to four, okay? And this interval goes from there to there. So that would be negative five to negative three. No, negative one. Negative seven over two, whatever that is. All right, so you're only thinking about your x, not your y when you write your intervals for these. All right, so you're gonna be doing um, exercise one, but you don't have to do it on paper. This will be in a quiz for you, so it, and you'll have multiple choice for the answer instead of have to come up with the answer on your own. All right, that is it for exercise one.